Thanks, guys. Got a free total coming up in the NFL, but first it's week 12 of college football, and I've got my rivalry game of the month Saturday, plus my NFL home field game of the year on Sunday. Both games are $10 with a pair of bonuses. NBA and college basketball releases going tonight. Four plays and all for $10 with LVSS. Call 1-866-575-8916. Free play comes in the NFL Sunday as the Panthers and Dolphins meet in Miami. Carolina is a conservative, run-oriented offense, bottom five in passing, but top ten in rushing. But the heart and soul of this team is a bone-crushing D, top five against the run and the pass. Last three road games allowed 10, 13, and nine points. Under a 7-2 in the Panthers' last nine games on grass, the defensive line will cause havoc to a bad Miami offensive line with the Dolphins' offense that can't run or pass. The under is 6-2-1 and one in the Dolphins' last nine games in November. Take the Panthers and Dolphins under the total. Once again, I got my rivalry game of the month on Saturday, plus my NFL home field game of the year on Sunday. Both games just $10 with a pair of bonuses. NBA and college basketball releases going tonight. Four plays and off, just $10. Call LVSS at 1-866-575-8916. Alright, thanks Jeff. Knock them dead this weekend. Uh, free plays every day from both Jim and myself. Uh, you can get mine by a text message. It's a really complicated procedure. Uh, you have to do one thing. You have to text Koken, C-O-K-I-N, to 313131, and then you get back the free play on a text message. Jim, it's it's just as complex with you. <laughs> oh, it's it's really complex. You, you just have to text winner, W-I-N-N-E-R, to uh, 313131, and you get a free play sent back right to your cell phone. 313131, just text winner, W-I-N-N-E-R. Well... And that's Zeus. Uh, Zeus is. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Zeus and, and, and his friends. That's Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> what is he like? <laughs> is he going in? Who's, who's he like in the Broncos Patriots game? <laughs> Obviously a dog. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, we uh, we have a dog, a dog pound game every week, and I think we're seven and three on the season with the dog pound. And Zeus picks that, so it's up and running right now on the website. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's done, I mean, 70% so far on the year. You can't go wrong with that. So if we speak dog language, yeah, we didn't get it away for week. free right now. <laughs> we we did lose it last week. We had the Browns, and they managed to give up 31 second quarter points on only three first downs. So it was it was basically the Browns' offense that scored for Cincinnati. <laughs> you want to hear a funny story? i got to throw this in. This is years and years ago. And I, I lost touch with, with the guy, and I don't even know if he's alive anymore. Uh, but uh, his Super Bowl system was with his dog, and he would take two milk bones. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Did he, he win? Two milk bones, and he would scratch out the name of one team on, on one, or an N for NFL or NFC, and an A for AFC, whatever. And whichever milk bone the dog ate first, that's who he bet on. <laughs> And he uh, won six in a row. He won six in a row doing this. <laughs> and the the seventh one was the uh, Cincinnati San Francisco Super Bowl. And the dog ate the uh, he ate the San Francisco biscuit first, and then threw up. Uh, and, the, and the guy didn't know what to do. It was a game of the year. And, uh, that, that was the end of the system. He, uh, he ended the system at that point. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a true funny. story. I'm actually not making that up. <laughs> All right, the Broncos and Patriots are playing Sunday. Boy, the Broncos won a game they really had to have uh, against the Chiefs on Sunday afternoon and then on, um, or on Sunday night, I should say, and then on Monday. What a finish. What a finish in that Patriots-Panthers game. Uh, it was pass interference. Uh, there's just no question about that. It was pass interference. doesn't mean the Patriots were going to win the game, but it does mean they should have had one more play. Uh, I don't know how, how that's going to impact them this weekend, except they walk out of there with a loss. And, uh, boy, Belichick off a loss can be rather difficult. I think the situation, I think the Broncos are a better team than the Patriots, but uh, I think the situation favors the Patriots. They're home off a loss. I like that. I think they're going to be a little bit pissed off about what happened at the end of that game, even though they're not saying so, uh, for the Broncos, it's a huge divisional win. And it's a game they really had to have, or they were not going to win the division if they lost that game. Now they have to travel cross-country and face the Patriots. Uh, Manning versus Brady, it has the air of a playoff game. And I, believe me, I'm about as big a Peyton Manning fan as there is. But in playoff games, he doesn't play that well. And this is a playoff game to me. I'm going to take the Patriots. I think it's going to be a hell of a game. I'm not 
I doubt very much, and I, I won't chisel this in granite. I don't know if this is going to make my personal service card on, on Sunday. I think it's a, an ex extremely tough game. But I'm going to have to side with the Patriots, Jim. Well, it's, Dave, it, it's not too often that you see uh, Tom Brady and company, an underdog at home. I mean, I, that goes back maybe seven, eight years the last time that's happened. Uh, take a, let's take a look at what, what Denver is facing right now. They just had to play Kansas City. That wasn't, you know, arguably that wasn't that tough a game for them, even though they might have anticipated it would be. Uh, it wasn't that tough. They had, they had the game in control. Now, I will say the Chiefs have a, had opportunities and they messed up a few times, and it made the game much easier for Denver. Now they got to go on the road, and they got to play at the Patriots coming off a loss. I think Carolina, I mean, I've got to give credit to Carolina. They're a pretty good team. And uh, they beat San Francisco. They came home and played a very good game. Whether they won the game or not really is immaterial to me. Uh, they, they played a very good quality team two weeks in a row and, and beat both of them, played Totally gained respect. Um, the last play was definitely pass interference. If Gronkowski could have ran ran out the button hook, he might have actually caught the ball, and the game would have been over there. If they got the ball on the one-yard line, uh, there's no guarantee they could have scored because Carolina's defense was stopping them all night uh, right. on, on any kind of short yardage stuff. But any, in any case, the, the Pats are going to be very pissed off. And now they have three losses. Uh, they're facing, they're, they're going to be a wild card. Unless they can win this game and, can't, and the Chiefs or somebody can beat Denver, uh, it's, it's, they're, they're down to a wild card situation because they would have a, a tiebreaker if they won this game against Denver should they lose two more times. So this is a huge game, much bigger game for the Patriots in this situation because they are, you know, they are not in great shape. In, in right now. So I see a big effort from the Patriots. I agree with you that on paper and everything statistically, from beginning to end of this season, Denver's the better team. And that's why they're the favorite. But it's very unusual to see uh, this team, an underdog at home. Now, we get back to the weather. 35 degrees, 20 mile an hour winds. That's not conducive to high numbers. You know, scoring. So we're back kind of like talking about the uh, Dallas Giants game, you know, it's colder here uh, it, in, in this game, uh, but, uh, you know, you're probably looking at a high, you're looking at a high total, it's probably an under bet. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about who I think is going to win the game. Now, let's go back to Denver. Denver played Kansas City last week, big division game, they won the game. Now they got to travel across country, east coast, they got to play the Pats, coming off a loss. Trump said, now, guess where they go next week? They gotta to go to Kansas City. They gotta play the same team they just beat. A division rival. And God forbid for Denver if they were to lose that football game. Because Kansas City would jump ahead of them. Because on Kansas City only has one loss. That would give Denver two. And if Denver loses this week, it would give them three. So, huge game for both teams, but a big look ahead situation for Denver. A lot to think about. John, uh, you know, uh, both these teams are going to be in the playoffs. We know that. But, you know, uh, getting that regular season win is important, not only for psychological reasons, but for possible home field. Jim was talking about that before. I mean, the Patriots don't want to blow potential home field through the uh, throughout the AFC, and this, they can forget about it if they lose this game. So, you know, it's, it's a really big game for both teams. It certainly is. Yeah. If, if you like to play totals, keep this in mind for this game. There are three head coaches, Romeo Cornell, Jim Johnson was when he was with the Eagles, and Bill Belichick. They've always played Peyton Manning the same way, and that is you play a deep zone, you force short, medium stuff, you want to get try and get long drives out of them. Now, last week, they played the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, Andy Reid was with Jim Johnson in Philadelphia all those years. He, he did the exact same game plan last week. Peyton Manning had 40 dropbacks, and the Chiefs sent four or fewer passes on 34 of those. It's 85% of the time. The number one sack team in the NFL got zero sacks against Manning last week. Well, that was by design. They were playing back deep and did keep that great Denver offense in check with 27 points. And i got to believe Bill Belichick, as usual, he's going to do the same type of game plan. So if you like to play the total, there may be a lot of long drives in this game in addition to the weather. 
But here's the thing. I'm going to take a stand uh, with the matchups because I like to do matchups. And I like Denver in this game because this Patriot team, look at the problems they had on Monday night against Carolina with the defensive backs. Three starting defensive backs were out. Alfonso Denard is an athletic young corner they like. He's still injured. Apparently he's not going to play this game. Akib Tlaib, their best physical cover corner, who would be great against Demarius Thomas this game, had the hip problem, didn't play on that last drive. They certainly could have used him against Cam Newton, and they certainly could use him this week. I can't trust his health. And then the defensive line, they've already lost their best linebacker in Gerard Mayo, Vince Wilfork, done for the year, Tommy Kelly, who they brought in, done for the year. So they, they, they have home field and they have the edge with the coaching staff. But, boy, I just wonder if the Patriots – have the horses in this game, so Dave, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh, the favor Denver from a matchup point of view. How much uh, before we wrap it up? How much weight do you put on the fact that John Fox isn't coaching the football team right now, and Jack Del Rio is? Now he got a win last week, which is uh, a big win, and Del Rio has been a head coach in this league, but I don't think he's regarded as a great head coach. Uh, does that start to impact? The, the, the more, the further they get away from Fox being there, does that begin to impact your opinion on assessing this Broncos team? Well, let me tell you why. Why I don't think it, it's that meaningful. Uh, we we all know that probably the hardest working quarterback from a preparation standpoint in all of football, and probably from for many years, was is Peyton Manning. Arguably, he is the offensive coach. And the defensive coach is Del Rio. He's still there, and he's still, uh, you know, coaching the defense. So f- other than the fact that there might be more hours in the day for these guys to prepare and get things ready, I don't see too much of a difference because of the situation of having a quarterback like Peyton Manning. If, if you didn't have a guy like him, oh. and let's say you had somebody that you really had to hold hands with and go over every play, this guy is going to do what he wants to do, and nobody's going to tell him otherwise from an offensive standpoint. That's that simple. That's the way he's been for years. And uh, so I think Del Rio focusing on the defense, which he's been doing from the beginning of the year. And you got to remember, too, they had some defections over the, uh, you know, with the facts problem, and they lost, uh, what, what was his name? I can't remember his name uh, because they didn't send the facts in time. Yeah, no, Von oh, Miller's okay. back now. The other guy was, right, uh, I can't yeah. remember his name. He went over to Baltimore. That's right. Uh, but any any case, Von Miller is back. He's been back for a couple games. That improves their defense a lot. I mean, he's a horse. He plays. He's a great football player. They did not have him until last week or two weeks ago, I should say. So their defense is actually stronger, which further enhances my position with, along with the weather and the pressure of this game, that even though these are high-scoring quarterbacks, the situation, the weather, all of that, you know, it, I think it's probably, we're probably looking at going under this high line. You were thinking about Elvis, right. Jim. Let's get Elvis Dumaville. How could you forget that name? Elvis Dumaville. Yes. That, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it, you know, I was thinking about Presley, and I couldn't come up with the name. <laughs> I, I Elvis has left that building. I concur with you because <laughs> Peyton Pey Manning runs the offense, not that coaching staff. Well, I can't disagree with any of that. All right, let's get the best bets and a recap of what we've got avail- available this weekend. John, let's start with you and uh, a little bit of uh, information on what's happening with Mr. Vegas. Sure, my best bet will be the Denver Broncos. And the uh, if you want to get in on Mr. Vegas, you can get a full week of action in all sports, NBA, college hoops, NFL, and college football, including a Saturday shocker game of the year. Mr. Vegas won his dog of the year last week on the Houston Cougars. You can get all this, a full week of action, seven days, 15 bucks, 1-866-896-1627. I'll go under in the Cowboys-Giants. Uh, I think there's some value in that, particularly early. And uh, as far as the big play goes, the mismatch of the year goes on Saturday in college football. Great record on this game over the years. Uh, guaranteed to not just cover the spread, but to obliterate the spread. It's guaranteed to cover by at least two touchdowns for the rest of the college football season, including the Bulls. We're going to be completely free of charge. The earlier you sign up, the more plays you're going to get because you've got free bonus plays from the day you sign up until... Uh, game time on Saturday. So take advantage now. It's just $20 at 1-866-896-1629. It's 1-866-896-1627. Jim? Well, Dave, uh, these big 
marquee games like you have coming up, I have to wish you luck with that because I know you've done well over the years. I've done well over the years with my game of the year. Last year did not work. Last week did not work out for me in that respect. But like I said, I'm going to bounce back week. I'm very focused. I have a strong card in football, and I've been on top of the hoops. And uh, obviously, the NBA is 22 and 13, so we're on top of that. The offer this week: we got five big plays. A countdown on Saturday. Five plays for twenty-five dollars and a bonus high roller play. That's six plays in all, twenty-five bucks. One eight six six eight four one sixteen fifty-five. One eight six six eight four one sixteen fifty-five. And as far as best bets concerned, we talked about two pro football games. I basically said I like the under in both. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to give you both games under the total. I think the weather conditions, the cold weather, the pressure of the games. The high totals, but you better you better get on it right now because, like Dave said earlier, these numbers are going down if that weather report holds, and I think it will. I mean, it is uh, unless you're living in Florida, San Diego, or Vegas. There's there's a lot of bad weather around the country, and uh, this is the time of year to hit. So I'm going under those two. I grew up in New England. Not nice there around Thanksgiving. Okay, uh, <laughs> I like it better out here. All right, that's I agree. it. The uh, I agree. NFL edition. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the NFL edition of Pro Line is done, but the college edition still to come. If you haven't checked that out yet, make sure you do. We got a couple of big college games uh, that we're going to look at. Some uh, great information to give you there as well. Meanwhile, for John Creighton, Jim Feist, Jeff Sod, I'm Dave Koch, and thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and uh, make those calls. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>